gonna get it. <laughs> you know I'm gonna shoot a giant drum today on film, right? So we're out here bow fishing today. Decided to take the boat out. It's kind of windy and a little overcast, so I don't know if it's gonna happen. You gotta say like it's Wisconsin. We're out here bow fishing, don't you know? Fishing. It's bow fishing with EMS retrievers, bow fishing, don't bow you know? <laughs> <laughs> Mark's got his fruit tart out here. Look at that freaky thing. Pretty little thing. He's gonna try and beat it up a little bit. Weather's bad. Yeah. It's it's pretty nasty it's out overcast, here. Overcast, it's windy. That's what always happens whenever we get the bow fishing stuff out. It's because we try to film. All right, let's know. go shoot something. Let's go get something. All right, come on. I'm going to shoot a drum right now up in here. Now here's the rules. This is your side. Of course, I, I get the inner side where the, there's nothing. Oh, I need my tab. Yeah, I like my tab. Hold on. Prima Donna shooting with the tab. Oh, when you shoot as many fish as I do, it gets a little tiring in your fingers, okay? Uh -huh. I waited too long. <laughs> the worst thing was I was looking at the tip of my arrow. And it was, yeah. <laughs> Look at that shot! <laughs> Look at that shot! I love this bow. Look at that. <laughs> that was a poke. That was a pretty far shot. Let's put it. You got the motor? That was a big mullet. Beautiful. <laughs> you didn't think I could do that, did you, Steven? That was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. Dude, it's the fruit tart. That bow, you know what it is? It's the same thing as shooting my hunting bow. I mean, it is the same poundage as everything. The only thing that's different about it is he did maple cores on it. And this ridiculous, ridiculous color. <laughs> he skipped, man. They're so small. Like, we've only, what, successfully gotten one into the boat before, right? That was, what's her name? Yeah, that was what's her name? The uh, bow fishing yeah. dog people. Yeah. So, Primitive Pursuit, they were talking about that. They're like, man, the way to get Instagram followers is you gotta show some skin. You need to wear some bikinis. I mean, I could trim my bikini line and everything. You no fish. Got him. I think I just killed shot him. No, he's alive. That's a big ray. Oh, oh, he's going under. Get the motor up, get the motor up. Okay, keep it up. Wow. I need to put it down. I can't get him up, man. Watch your legs. Nope. Look at him go, man. You getting the gaff, honey? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna let him get tired for a second. <laughs> Come on. That's a big ray. Let me get him up first. Gaff him! Gaff him! <laughs> <sighs> you just saying you hope that there's a big ray in here? Watch yourself. I'm coming down this way. Okay. We need a bigger boat, honey. <sighs> Got him? That's a big ray! Look at that thing. They fight, man. 
How's that shot? Sneaking into a secret spot right now that you really have to put the cover down and crawl through. <laughs> you see, have you noticed every time you hang out with us, we're always crawling through big stuff? Yeah. <laughs> but it's always where the big stuff at. I don't understand why we can't just take, you know, I don't want to take a saw and go through here because everything's no, so bad. Yeah, don't clear it out. I've seen a couple kayak fishermen up here. That's about it. Good? Let's troll and motor it out. Hey, honey, hand me the fruit tart. The church is fruit. You got decent water flow in here right now. Might actually. Oh, don't move, don't move. They were all right here. Oh all right, all right. Get out of the way. <laughs> well, I gotta stay on my side. Forget it. The ripple just came in. It's over. Shoot! Shoot him! It's it. It's it. No. Oh, right there. Did you just throw an arrow at him? <laughs> Oh! You just shoot him right there! Just shoot him! I'll see him! Fuck it! Yeah, man. <sighs> oh my goodness. You just flung an arrow at Bubbles. Yeah, I knew he was in front of the Bubbles. Got him. I got I'm him. on the end. Oh, he's turned neutral, neutral, neutral. Steven, did you get the shot by any chance? Sorry about that. I saw him. I was I was gonna let Allison shoot him, and I'm like, whatever. All I saw was the back of his tail. I wasn't sure. Neutral. All right, honey, just hop out of the way. Just get her out of the way. <laughs> Sorry, honey. <laughs> All I saw was the back of his tail, and I was like, oh, never mind. It's mine. Whew. I'm a little tired. But catch my breath. <laughs> Come on, punk. He's not giant, but maybe he is. What the hell? He's big. Never mind. I thought he was small. <sighs> All right, come on, dude. Nope. <sighs> come on. He's a lot bigger than I thought. I can see real, by the way. <laughs> My brake doesn't work anymore on this thing. Okay, let's try this again. Come on, buddy. I just want to have you for dinner. Come on up. Come on up into my boat. He ain't coming up, honey. Come on. There he goes, there he goes. No, 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 no. Oh, he's big. There he is. Don't forget to get him, honey. You got him winged? No, get him in the head. <laughs> Take your time, don't worry. He's just gaffed my boat. Okay. <laughs> you hold him up, honey. I actually, my, my thing was turned. The gaff was turned, so. Watch your feet, get them turned away. Alright, back up and put him right on the deck. He was a lot bigger than I thought. Good size. All I all I saw was his tail. I didn't think he was big or anything. That uh, I saw the puff. Nice. You want to call it a day? Yeah. All right, let's we call really it. Haven't seen anything. Conditions aren't right. Cool beans. All right, let's get him in the cooler. <laughs> you want to uh, uh, grab the knife? Him? I'll bleed him. Okay, so we are always getting asked how we go about cleaning the stingrays that we harvest. I uh, just want to do a quick little video about how we go ahead and do that. You're going to start by flying the wings off the body. Because the rest of it's pretty much worthless. Yeah, I mean, 
He's thick. Yeah, he is. He is super thick. Oh, goodness. They are so heavy. This Just watch the business end, honey, behind you. Yes, first things first, don't stick yourself with the pointy end. Yeah, the pointy end hurts Usually we good. end up taking the tail off, but for some reason we didn't this time. Don't yeah. know. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> I am having a hard time with him. He's heavy. This is very heavy work. There you go. Now there you're through the go. cartilage. See what it is? Is they there's have a two fillets, a bottom and a top here, and there is a thick layer of cartilage right in between them. He's just huge. And this is a big guy, so thick cartilage. Surprise, Mark's not freaking out with how I'm holding my knife. Yeah, I, I hate watching her using her knife. <laughs> But we're videoing, so I can't yell her. And besides, you don't yell at the woman that's filleting your fish that you shot. You should <laughs> learn that lesson. All right, uh, you I'm just... going to go ahead and remove him, pull him down. Oop, I am still attached. Look at that there. Okay. Groaned at me, honey. All right, so here you can see that top and the bottom fillet. Now, we did bleed these guys before they got into the boat, but they're big fish. They have a lot of blood. And you are just going to take your knife and just fillet it right off of that layer of cartilage there. Now people ask us all the time what these guys taste like. Um, you know, they're very neutral tasting fish. The, one of my favorite things about them is that they really do accept whatever flavors you add with it. So they've been really awesome in soups and stuff and chowders. They're nice white fish, white meat. I call it a pork chop shark steak. Yeah, I mean, some people get a lot of other fish. When you see those bloodlines in the in the meat, you kind of steer away from those. These guys, we don't we don't bother trying to take that out first because there's a lot. Second, because it hasn't affected the taste of the meat yet that we have found. So we're pretty picky about our meat. Oh my goodness. He's huge. Yeah, I'm doing a pretty bad job. It's because you're filming. <laughs> guys, don't judge your I'm work. Filming because it's upside down and you know she gets nervous on camera yeah everybody does okay so get it almost to the edge there and then you just take it off there's not much meat towards the tip so and these things dull your knife so yeah. bad the skin is like sandpaper we're actually going to take the skin right now we're going to dry it make leather for some of our tabs and other work nice when they kind of suction cup to the table. Gives you some resistance to pull against. Buddy. Okay. Now wash that You're just going to squeegee onto my shoes? Come on. <laughs> I'm wearing my hunting shoes. What you get for standing there in my way? Let me spray that off. Yeah. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get out of the way. Oh my goodness. Okay. You can spray it off. like this really nasty slime when they're in the cooler so you definitely have to make sure that that is rinsed off now I'm gonna try and fillet the skin off I'm really bad at that so <laughs> goodness I don't know why he has me do this all the time because just like I don't any know other fish to... you got to get your knife down and flat as you can and he just sharpened this knife it was it's dull already and it's pretty dull already yeah it's a good so. blade too go. That's not too bad. Not too shabby. Hey honey, I heard it tastes just like scallops. I heard it tastes just, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> it does not taste like it scallops. Does not, it doesn't even have the same texture as scallops. So like, I don't know, maybe skates, maybe they use skates, but no. they, I can almost guarantee you they were not using stingray. It flakes like a fish. People so. that think that it, it tastes like scallops or it's fake scallops, are people that have never eaten number one, never eaten a scallop, number two, have never eaten a stingray. I've never eaten stingray. So there, you just do the same thing on the bottom, on the bottom fillet, just fillet it right off that piece of cartilage. And the bottom fillet is a little bit thinner, but it tastes just as delicious. All right, honey, so if you had one way that you could eat a stingray, how would you eat it? Um, chowder. 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 For sure. It's beautiful in chowder. I mean, we've eaten it fried as tacos. We go 
stingray gumbo, stingray scampi. No, we have not. But. Stingray kebab, <laughs> stingray uh, chip We've sandwiches. We've done a bunch of different ways, but I think soup or chowder is probably my favorite. So, plus, like, you get a lot of meat off of each stingray. Like, that's that's a pretty significant chunk of meat when you think about it. As it's fish, you know, you get two of those. You get two of these, which is, you know, well, it's a little bit thinner. One and one. Oh, two, two or two. Off of each. Uh, Come on now, follow along. Whatever. <laughs> so just hurry up and finish Mark filleting my fish yeah. and cook my Mark dinner. Can't do simple math. <laughs> but yes, I would say chowder. Probably my favorite. We're gonna save this skin and try and eat some tabs. I think you already said that. Yeah, I did. Okay. All right. Everybody, you know what you're doing now. You guys yeah, are pros. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. She's going to get some recipes up soon. It's summer season, so we'll be eating this at least a couple days a week. Stop throwing your stingrays back and stop using them as shark bait. It can be so much more. Unless y'all want to turn them into scallops. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, just, you, you just get a get hole a puncher. You got to get a hole puncher. Hey, yeah. cutter. You get a lead pipe. That's what somebody told me. You got to use a lead pipe and you just stab it with it and make it like a cookie cutter. You sell them as scallops. Hopefully you don't get sick from lead poisoning. <laughs> oh, I totally messed that one up. You made me laugh and distracted myself. All right. I missed half the meat. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody.